What's going on, fellas? It's Steeler here back again with my Batman Arkham Knight slash Season of Infamy DLC review. Now, those that have been subscribed to this channel for quite a while know that I wasn't exactly thrilled with 90% of the content in this season pass, and I, I was even more aggravated with the fact that you know, Rocksteady didn't exactly tell us what we'd be getting either. They were very vague, and they're like, hey, give us this 40 bucks, and we're going to do amazing things. Well, that wasn't quite the case. Now, I'd like to give a bit of context as to why I feel the way I do about the Season of Infamy. Uh, you know, they were much higher quality side missions than the ones that came in the vanilla game, the game without any DLC. Uh, you know, as you guys see, I've done every single mission in this game pretty much, including the Season of, of Infamy missions, uh, except for the Riddler trophies here. I've got to find a few more Riddler trophies, but other than that, uh, I've done everything. And uh, to access the Season of Infamy DLC, you hit right bumper. Now, me, myself, I think those missions should have been incorporated in the original mission wheel, but uh, as they are, you hit right bumper to find them, and they will make themselves available to you as you progress through the story. If you've already beaten the game, uh, they'll be available from the start. You just go and complete them whenever you want to. Now, there's no spoiler gameplay here. Just a Mr. Freeze, uh, you know, cutscene. You guys know Mr. Freeze is part of this Season of Infamy DLC. And uh, the game looks phenomenal. It still looks great. All of these uh, Season of Infamy DLC missions are high quality in regards to how the game looks. Uh, you know, everything's running in real time on Xbox One here. It looks phenomenal. Uh, you know, and like I said, the vanilla side missions are just, they're, they're tedious. There's no nar real narrative-driven storytelling. No payoff in that regard. Go here knock these guys out of the guard tower, disable a landmine, inject a man bat with some juice and watch him turn human and take him to jail. There's no real boss fights, and when there are boss fights, they're ripped straight from the main story of the game, right? <clears throat> Still tank battles. So, you know, disappointment with the uh, vanilla game story missions, which really makes these Season of Infamy story missions stand out. I enjoyed all of them simply for the fact that there was actually narrative-driven storytelling. Now, in regards to the rest of the Season Pass, you're getting a bunch of Batman skins, right? Uh, probably 30-40% of the Season Pass is Batman skins. As you see, I have the Tim Burton skin on right now. Looks great. Uh, other than that, you get Batmobiles, most of which are not usable in the, so in the story missions. Uh, or the story mode at all, uh, and you get Riddler racetracks. Nobody fucking asks for racetracks, as DLC especially, in a Batman Arkham game, all right? We want Arkham-style, narrative-driven story missions for DLC. Just a little note for the team that's responsible for the next Batman game, and there will be another one, trust me, okay? Uh, other than that, you get story packs. Some people might be like, oh, that's cool, story packs. Plays Nightwing, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, etc. No, they're garbage, okay? They're 8 to 10 minutes of uh, low-quality... Just useless dog shit, in my opinion, you know, and I'm pretty passionate about these Arkham games. I was a big fan. That's why I'm being so hard on them. But, uh, you know, these story packs are a joke, and I don't know anybody that's been impressed by a single bit of this tacked on bullshit. But other than the season of uh, Infamy DLC, it's all garbage. Now, I just really think it's important to stress the fact that literally every single piece of content in this season pass, except for the season of Infamy story missions, it's just garbage. It's dog shit. Overpriced. You know, 40 bucks for this season pass, when really 90% of it is stuff developers used to give you for free if you beat their game on hard mode. You know, so uh, do not opt into the season pass. Complete ripoff. One of the worst season passes I've ever seen. Uh, instead, if you're going to do anything, pick up the season of infamy side missions. They're not going to blow the f you know your face off of your skull. They're not amazing, uh, but they are some of the best, and they're the only true side missions in the game. As I've said before, the only narrative-driven, uh, story-driven side missions really of note in the whole game besides the main story. And uh, they're only going to run you about an hour of your time. So if you're going to pick anything up it should be these four side missions and get them as cheap as possible but anyways it's all just an opinion guys let me know what you guys think down below i'm dealer like comment share and i'm out fellas